<clears throat> Alright, back. I do think I'm going to want to change <clears throat> change at some point uh, from the technician class to the fighter class, or the warrior class, but we'll see how that works. So I heard there's you basically respec items, but I don't know how f long, far along you need to get to, to trigger that stuff. <clears throat> Man, I got phlegm in my throat. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right, yeah. <coughs> Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taking the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? <coughs> Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. <coughs> he sips his point like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Hmm. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guess, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. Hmm. I need to be going. <coughs> Farewell. <laughs> Smuggler's Journal. I have two new clients. They want to go to Al Said. And the Inquisitors are on their heels, which will not make my job any easier. I think I can get them onto the ship inconspicuously, but we will have to be cautious. And I hope that they will be they will prove <coughs> patient and discreet. I will hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbor office, where the Inquisitors will never dare enter. Harbor office. Oh, right on. That loot chance, 25%. I mean, might as well use it now while I still can, right? Uh, while it's still not as bad. Craftsmanship plus one.
What can I do here? Can I break these apart? No, I can just drop them. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. It's got to be like a pre-order bonus or something that I got. Or something. Find the charlatan. Oh, so they are in here. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make the good color. Oh. Hmm. Don't have the key. Oh, there's the fucking metal dowels. Well, great. Could have saved myself some money. Oh, well. Uses the key. Oh. Thought I saw something down here, no? Yes. <laughs> Even more metal dolls. Agility too. Mm. 
There we go. <clears throat> you again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that's found you. Have you seen the mob that's gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce. And he's the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the Potion Maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. Ha! <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. Hmm. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology, I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use as experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice. But it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps. But you are hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So... What are you gonna do with me, my lady? I'm going to help you leave the city. But you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Lady Desade, I presume. 
It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Not yet. You know, this type of mission is not really my speciality. Well, that's to your honor. But the commander did give the order to you. Her Excellency might be able to help you. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. first. It's not possible just now. It's blocked. I mean... Oi! Where do you think you're going? You're in our territory! I'm looking for my cousin, and it would seem that he is in this building. That very well could be. We have had a guest since yesterday. A regular ladies' man in golden stitches. That would fit the bill. I have no idea how he earned such a kind invitation, but... Being born into silk sheets doesn't give him the right to insult his fellow man, or to show disrespect. We know this sort only too well. Used to everyone doing whatever he says. 
but they're always a lot friendlier having learned their little lesson. Isn't that right, Chief? That's right. But lessons have a price. So, if you want your drunkard back... That drunkard is the only son of the Prince d'Orsay. I am sure you know the punishment reserved for those who slight his majesty. Shit! You are absolutely right, Chief. He's definitely rich and certainly a noble. Shut your trap, imbecile. You want to get us drawn and quartered? Uh, uh, listen, uh, we didn't know who we were dealing with. We never would have given offense to the Prince. <laughs> That's what I had assumed. Here, take the key to his cell and, uh, and give our respects to his highness. I'm going to adjust the graphics down a tad. I did notice a, um, a drop in f fidelity, of course, but it actually doesn't look terrible. It's not possible just now. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to crush! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today, we set sail for adventure. If you only knew how these river scum treated me, do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. 
Sorry, Constantine, but we drove a hard bargain to get you out of their grasp. I don't intend to... Bargain? Don't tell me that you paid them a ransom. <sighs> oh, well. What is done is done. A mighty vessel awaits us. And a tremendous adventure. Wait. Jesus. It's a long sword. There's still maybe one or two more side quests I can do, possibly. There we go. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you are angry. Me? It's not money I want! That charlatan tried to poison us! I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words! We're gonna hang him high! And you too, if you're an accomplice! How absurd! I'm the one who put an end to his operation! Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves! He's trapped! He'll have to come out someday, you'll see! And so you plan on waiting here? I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. And my tooth is aching more than ever. Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis? A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed, then? Everyone is. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. What are we gonna do? The doctor costs a fortune. We're all gonna end up like statues. Listen to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me! That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. Hmm. 
Hmm. He was back this way. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You were free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, my lady. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. Farewell. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say that I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the coin guard tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> we'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. Hmm. I thought I could your confront Excellency. as well. Lady de Sade. I need to be going. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay. Greetings, Your Excellency. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? 
You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I'm certain we can come to an unofficial arrangement. You are clearly the apprentice of a demanding master who expects you to follow orders without raising a brow. Life in your shoes can't be easy. Perhaps we could help you take the weight off your feet. And what would I have to do in exchange? If I give you the merchandise, my master will still demand the price you're supposed to pay me. Not if you were robbed. By pure chance. I mean, it could happen to anyone. What if the guards leave a little extra bonus in your pocket as you look away, and while you're making yourself busy elsewhere, some of my men break in and collect their merchandise? You'll just have to make a devastated, oh, the dastardly boldness of a face in front of your master, and we're done. And the bonus will be how much? Well, you won't be retiring with it. Oh, all right, done, I'm with you. As soon as I've received my bonus, my eyes will grow weary-like. Ah, uh, not just yet. You'll get your bonus afterwards. The guard has already been taken once by your promises. Well, you can't hold it against me for trying. Very well. Call for your men to come. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The Quartermaster must be expecting us. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. 
We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier for d as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah. But you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, no. If he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. <laughs> Whatever you need. 